Hi everybody, this is Ann Emery with Excel for Evaluation. VLOOKUP is my all-time favorite feature of Excel, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the VLOOKUP function. In a previous tutorial, I talked about when to use VLOOKUP. You use VLOOKUP when you want to combine data sets. For example, if you have your demographic data in one spreadsheet, your scores or outcome data in a different spreadsheet, then you can use VLOOKUP to combine or merge your data sets to create a new combined data set so that you can do your analysis. In another video, I talked about why to use VLOOKUP. You use VLOOKUP to save time when you're merging these data sets. Here's a real life example. I was working on an evaluation of a mental health counseling program, and I knew that my full data set should have 460 people in it. There were 460 total people served by the program. But seeing as this is real life evaluation and you're always missing some data, my demographic spreadsheet that I got from the program staff only had demographic data for 430 people. So the ID numbers didn't go in order. It went something like this, one, two, three, five, because I was missing data for person number four. And then in a separate spreadsheet, they gave me data with the counselor's ratings of the people's progress. And I only had counselor rating data for 137 people. So the ID numbers went something like this, one, three, four, five. And because you have different amounts of data in each, each spreadsheet and you're missing data for different people in each spreadsheet, you can't just copy and paste. So that's when you want to use VLOOKUP to do all of this merging together and save a lot of time. So here's the how, how to use VLOOKUP. Let's zoom in a little bit so that you can see it. We're going to create this monster combined spreadsheet. It's going to have the demographic data here in column B through L. And then it's going to have the counselor rating data over here in column M through T. So to use VLOOKUP, you just type in equals VLOOKUP. Open up your parentheses, and Excel gives you some clues. You need to fill in four pieces of information, lookup value, table array, column index number, and range lookup. We're just going to go through these one at a time, and I'll try to translate Excel's jargon so that you can follow it on your own. VLOOKUP um, lookup value is just the ID number. So just click on the ID number, and here's a key thing to remember. Your ID numbers need to be in the first column of your spreadsheet. So the first column of your combined data set, of your demographic data set, and in the data set with the counselor rating scores. Make sure the ID number there is first. Okay, so put a column, uh, excuse me, a comma, and we go to the second piece of information, the table array. That just means where's the table that your data is coming from. So let's go to the table where the demographic data is. It's in a separate file. It's in this file named dataset1 demographics. And we're going to highlight the entire table, everything except the column headers. Now go back to your combined data set and just put in a comma. That takes us to the next piece of information, call index num. That stands for column index number. And that's just a fancy way of saying which column do we pull the data from. So we're trying to fill in the data about gender right here. Let's go back to the table and see which column the gender is in. So gender is right here in column B, which is the second column in the table. Go back to our combined data set again. And we're just going to write a 2 for the second column. Not B, but a 2. It needs to be a number. And finally, put another comma. We go to the fourth and final piece of information in the formula. It says range lookup. And you need to select here either true or false. And you're always going to select false. The reason's pretty complicated, so just take my word for it. Just always type in false. You'll be in good shape. Now close the parentheses and press enter. If you get an NA, don't worry, let's just copy this uh, formula down a little bit. So look for this little square and just copy it down. NA just means that this person, ID number 1124285, they weren't in our demographic data spreadsheet. We're missing data for them. But everybody else, we filled in their gender just perfectly. So there you go. That's how to use VLOOKUP. And stay tuned because I'm going to create a few more videos showing you even more time-saving tricks as you're using VLOOKUP. Thank you very much.